Jacqueline Bethany and I'm playing Laura Wingfield. Um, well, it's a classic piece of American theater. Um, I first saw it when I was 15. Um, it was one of the most impactful um, plays I'd ever seen. I saw it with Jessica Lange um, and Sarah Paulson. And I mean, I don't know. So I always had a special feeling about it in my in my mind and then I've always related to Laura and also Tennessee Williams and being from Mississippi and being an artist so I I guess those are like yeah initial things that come to mind about it. Um, well I mean I grew up doing theater here and so I think doing a Williams play in his home state and in my home state is special and I think it's a kind of show or a kind of role that you would want to do anywhere. And so I think um, not only was was it it's, it's a special part, but it's a special place. So I feel lucky to be working um, at a time when theater is coming back, um, especially in at regional theaters like this one where it's been such a part of a community for a long time and everything was sort of shut down um, and in the world and I think bringing a classic play and like reintroducing it to new audiences as well um, who aren't familiar with the show is exciting to me but also to be in like a theater with an audience um, is is special and I think it I think it kind of reflects a lot of the loneliness and the emotions and the upheaval we were feeling as people during the past, during the pandemic, um, weirdly, I think. And I don't, you know, I don't know that had I read this play five years ago, it obviously would not have been in that way impactful. Yeah, I mean, I think we're very similar, which is interesting. Um, I think that I struggled a lot with a lot of the things that Laura struggles with. Obviously I was able to get over a lot of the the challenges that um, she faces. I but you know some people can't and so I think having going back to that space I was I wore a brace in middle school I was always super super shy but I found performing from a young age and that sort of helped me come out of my shell. But I was given, you know, I grew up in a different time where I was given the opportunity, I had a supportive family, there wasn't as many challenges as being a woman um, or a girl. And um, I think that she sort of has a lot of trouble with any kind of rejection or social um, interaction that I think she feels a lot of pressure from her mother. Um, I don't know. I mean, I and I obviously. I mean, I'm different, but I do think there is a lot of similarity, which I've always felt to her. But I don't think until, you know, the opportunity to play her, I, I've consciously thought about. Um, I think one that like there's a couple of things that like keep coming back to me, and they're all like in reference to my character. Maybe I'm just like selfish. But um, I think Blue Roses, obviously, I think that's something a lot of people um, think of when they think of Glass Menagerie. I think, um, I don't know, friends and family keep sending me pictures of Blue Roses, so obviously that is an association. But also, I think a souvenir is really interesting because um, I, I didn't realize even this when I... Uh, First, when I was reading it in the read-through, and then Francine asked me what she thought the meaning of it was, but there was, I don't know how that's translated, but there's a film called The Souvenir, and then I thought about thinking of, like, how this play kind of is some like, the character of Laura is similar to the character in the film, so I think there's a lot of things that are in the play, the, su the subtlety of these words and these in this text that actually has influenced, like, so many other artists that you don't realize until you go back to it, which I think is, yeah. I thought that was really cool. I don't, I mean, I think that you would be um, remiss to not come see it because I, I think that it's important um, to do Tennessee Williams in Mississippi and where he's from and, um, and honor the, you know, 
the storytelling and the characters and it's such an iconic um, piece. And I think the cast is wonderful and um, yeah, I feel, I feel like it's a very lucky, unique um, opportunity and also uh, a great night of drama.